Hello fellow modelers, in this video I'm going to build small diorama for Russian KV-2 tank which I made recently. The whole diorama is based on true story, however I will use different KV-2 because in the picture is earlier version from 1939. It is hard sometimes to set correct dimensions of the base. This one is my first attempt and big, therefore I throw it into garbage. So let's start again. I prefer small dioramas but with a lot of details. So I try to draw base dimensions as small as possible. Extruded polystyrene is perfect material for base and terrain. You can buy this material in any shop focused on the construction of houses. I cut out blocks of the polystyrene with a sharp knife and this way I create nice uneven terrain. I need to create a base for riverside and valley stream bed. I want to have a nice frame around diorama, therefore I create it from balsa wood, which is very light and sturdy material. I glue it on the polystyrene with a PVA glue and fix it to direct position with a hypodermic needles. I create stones from styroform but you can also use real stones or gravel. Ok, now a little bit of magic. You can buy some products for the forming of the terrain, but I simply use grey plaster, a little bit of sawdust and of course my cool plasma magic cup with the water. I do not mix material for the whole diorama at once, because I work mostly only at small areas and drying time of the plaster is just a few minutes. This way, I apply the material to the diorama. If you need more dense material for rough texture, you can simply mix water, sawdust and PVA glue. Very nice material for any natural diorama is rotten wood. I actually stole a lot of stuff from the forest for this diorama. As you can see, the ground is after drying very white. You can add brown color pigments to the mixture, but I paint diorama with a brown acrylic color. The color is very uniform and dual, therefore I paint shading and different darker brown shades with a highly diluted oil paint. Another useful technique is a dry brush. I paint highlights on the stones with a light grey acrylic color. So the base of the diorama is partly finished. Now I apply nice happy vegetation and put to the model a little bit of life. First I apply static grass from model scene. They have different lengths and color types, so it is easy to combine them together. If you are making small dioramas like me, one package will last for a long time. The application is straightforward. I apply a little bit of PVA glue on the ground. And I create a cute small grass turfs with fingers. 
This way you will create very nice, not uniform wild grass. I glue roots on the riverside. I want to make it look like after a small soil erosion. I found roots also in the dark forest. You will need to look for some fallen trees. Hmm, it sounds like an adventure from Skyrim. I have some dry flowers and I use them for bushes. They are similar to sea foam, which is normally using for railroad models. I also want to create some bushes with leaves, therefore I apply a little bit of PV glue and use this nice leaves from Noch. Another material which I stolen from the forest is this beautiful moss. It looks like alive, but it is dry after a few days of drying. Important is to put moss or any natural material with a large amount of chlorophyll to dark box, meanwhile drying time. Otherwise, on the natural light, chlorophyll will disappear and the result will be brown. I use another type of moss for algae or some rival plants. Diorama still looks very dull, therefore I create a small tree from roots. I glue more branches with a super glue. I don't want to make Halloween dead tree, so I try to add some leaves from foliage. I don't have a lot of experience with dioramas, so I am making a lot of stuff for the first time. It does not look so scary now. Ok, the diorama is almost ready for the water. I need to fix wood with a clear varnish or Vallejo still water, because it can blow the bubbles, and we don't like the bubbles. It seems that I can put KV2. Important is to glue tank into the base properly with a super glue, otherwise you will have a floating tank. Just one small detail. I think it does not make a lot of sense on a glue model on the soil. In the river is almost a lot of mud and therefore I need to sunk a KV2 into the mud. And again I mix my magic clay, but this time I add a dry pigment, so I do not need to paint it afterward. Oh, it looks very disgusting, but that is the correct constancy for mud. Now it looks more realistic. I fix mud with a Vallejo still water and add a few green leaves. So now the part you are waiting for. I create water, but first I need to build cover box from plexiglass. It works like a temporary support and I will remove it in the end.
Very essential is to cover all small gaps and holes. I recommend cover plexiglass with a vaseline or epoxy separator, because otherwise resin will stick on the glass and it will be difficult to separate it. So this is a two component clear epoxy. The mix ratio is two parts of the resin and one part of hardener. Important is to mix resin properly. This is just a testing layer, it will reveal me gaps which I need to cover properly again with a silicone or still water. However, it seems that everything is ok. So, now I can create final layer. Some clear resins have a problems with a heat meanwhile drying. So you need to be sure that it will not destroy your model. Just do not forget to read the instruction manual properly. I calculated that I need 200 ml of a clear resin for the whole diorama. The plastic cups with a measuring tape will help me to mix two components in the correct ratio. And again, do not forget to mix the resin properly. I think that the resin is too much clear, therefore I add a small amount of a dry pigment and mix it. It will change a tone significantly, so you must be careful with the amount of the pigment. Now I pour the whole amount of the resin. And do not forget to remove small bubbles with a toothpick. And that is all. I cover diorama with a paper to prevent forming dust and let it dry properly for 50 hours. The result is solid and perfectly smooth. This is my first try with water, so I didn't use epoxy separator at plexiglass. That is bad. So now it's quite hard to separate it from diorama. The result is horrible, but do not worry, it is nothing that cannot be repaired. I cut out excess resin with a sharp knife and smooth surface with a sandpaper. Now it is perfectly smooth, I need to polish resin with a fine sandpaper and then fix the result with a clear varnish. With this step, is diorama finished? Ok, not really, because the video has another 7 minutes. So I decided to spend some extra time with the diorama and apply more details and also try some experiments which I never tried before. So the first experiment, I think the water is too much calm. I want to add some motion and for this are best small waves, the wind could cause it. I apply with a paintbrush this acrylic white paste. Do not worry, it will be transparent when it dries. <laughs> At least I hope. I smooth waves in the end with Vallejo still water, so the result will be more uniform.
So this is the result after drying. It looks quite good. The soil nearby water should be a little bit darker, therefore I paint it with a dark brown oil paint. I told you that tree is not perfect. I make it a little bit more detailed. I have these lovely fine bushes from model scene. You can simply make the whole tree from this material, but I cut out a few branches and glue them on the tree. I make a small bushes around water from the brown one. Also, I get these lovely leaves cut by precise laser, so I glue them on the tank body. I think that all these small details make diorama more interesting. Now the white waves are dry, so I am glad that this material is transparent. <laughs> what a relief. I think it looks more interesting than mirror water. Something is still missing. Yes, some leaves on the water. I fix them with Vallejo still water. The diorama is too much yellow, therefore I add green grass turfs from static grass. Ok, the last but not least detail. I add this nice one cent scale bulrush. I only need to drill holes to the resin for bulrush trunk and leaves. What would be a diorama without soldier miniature? Therefore, I paint this nice German soldier miniature from Zvezda. Also, I have new lovely acrylic colors from AK. They are almost odorless, they have perfect coverage properties and large number of different shades. The rest of shading I paint with oil paints. So, that is all. I always want to create diorama with water, so I'm glad that I finally tried it. It is something unusual and I try a lot of interesting techniques. I hope you learned something from this video and you will try it on your own project. If you will, 
I wish you good luck. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Here is the finished model.